Hey everyone, this is Frank Rich from Star Wars Autograph Collection. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my Facebook page and through the website about through the mail autograph collecting. Uh, people say, Frank, I, you know, I have a stupid question <laughs> and they ask about uh, through the mail. First off, there's no such thing as a stupid question, not when it comes to me. Um, the whole reason I have my website, the website, excuse me, was to help people collect autographs, uh, Star Wars autographs. That's it. So please feel free to ask, you know, anytime you have questions, send me a, a message or just ask on the page. Always glad to help uh, help out and answer the best I can. I'm not the expert on autograph collecting. There's been people who've been doing this for just for decades. Um, I just wanted to help people know of signings and appearances and, uh, you know, add to their collections just like I like to do. So that's what, that's why I'm there and uh, always feel free to ask me questions. So because a few months ago I really started to focus on through the mail collecting, I've been posting more you know, my successes and people have been asking more questions. So I thought it might be a good opportunity to just do a quick video um, about the process of going through the mail, kind of things you need to think about. Um, of course, first, you know, you need to have um, an address. You can, you can do things a couple ways. You can have the address first. You can have an image and say, I have this image. I want to get it signed. Just through the mail on option. Either way, that's going to bring you to either talking to your friends who do autograph, who th do through the mail collecting, or the two most prominent uh, websites out there are FanBiz. Uh, they do, um, uh, uh, fr it's a free database for, um, celebrity um, addresses and you could use that and they have a lot of good information or uh, Star Tiger which is I, I've been using I've been using them both but mostly Star Tiger uh, SW Autograph if you're on there too and it's it's uh, it's does cost money it's four ninety nine a month for the service but you have access to all their um, addresses. You can manage your collections online, see successes. So you you know it saves you some time because you know what's who's been you know successful and who's been not, and lets you know if you're sending something out to someone. Uh, if they typically take a month, a week, five years, you're gonna you have that information, so you kind of know. Because once you start doing this, that you get that excitement, and you come home, and you're hoping there's something in your mailbox. And but when you know that you like, I sent something out to Weird Al. He had a, you know, when he did his concerts, and he had the storm, you know, the 501st on stage with him for, you know, the saga begins. Um, I got some shots of that and sent it out, and it said, you know, some of the successes took five years. So I, I don't expect to see that anytime soon. And that's just fine, because that's part of the fun of it, is when you come home and there's autographs you forgot about <laughs> that you had sent out. So so you have your address from wherever you got it. And you have to have images. You can go through official pics or what have you, but you'll have your images that you want to send. They're not going to have an image. It's not like the olden days when you, know, you sent a fa fan letter out and they sent you that 8x10 back or, you know, uh, the, you know, I don't know what they were called, the golden age of Hollywood or whatever. They, they're probably not going to have the, the picture there. You have to send it to them. Okay. So you pick your photo. So you're going to need to get the photo there and you need to arrange for it to get back to you. So here's what I use. This is not the definitive way to do this, but so my envelope going to them, I just use a um, manila envelope. Uh, that's it, that I address to them. It has the clasp. You're not going to be able, we'll get to this in a little bit, but you don't pretend that clasp isn't there. Because when you seal this up, you're going to tape over it. You don't put the, the clasp through and lock it because it can get stuck in the machines at the post office. That was advice that my, I have a, uh, there's a great guy at my local uh, post office who kind of helps me out a lot. So, I mean, there's, you know, there's bubble mailers that you can use. Um, you know, if you wanted to, uh, I don't use this, usually use these bubble mailers for the um, sending out to them. You can. It's, it's just an extra expense. These were, I think I got a, a hundred of them for pretty cheap. Um, but you, you certainly can. 
but I, you know, you think that this is, you know, not very sturdy at all. I have my supports on the return envelope, so I do use um, usually about this size, you know, uh, nine by eleven, I think. Um, it's padded, self-adhesive. So this is um, what I use for return. So I would put it inside, mail it out. And that's still not enough. I would usually add um, a piece of cardboard. You want to stick this in inside the return envelope. And then your pictures you can put in a plastic sleeve or top loader. Uh, I, I just have been running out of top loaders from doing all of the all of the through the mail, so I had to get creative. So I use like a plastic sleeve and put it in there because um, you know the the cardboard provides really good support as far as it not bending at the post office or from your your uh, letter carrier. If it rains, it could still get wet. So make sure you put it in a plastic sleeve. So essentially, you're gonna have and then you're gonna have this addressed back to you, obviously with the return. Uh, the sender's address, and that's so that's your your packaging, all right. So what goes in the package now? Your photos, a letter. You gotta write a letter to the celebrity. Um, it doesn't have to be wordy, <laughs> you know. A couple paragraphs. I have a standard one that I kind of mod modify as needed. Um, just you know, thanking them for the time appreciating what they're doing for you they're under no obligation to do this for you and you know in this day and age they can make a whole lot more money they go to a show they're gonna get 20 30 40 plus dollars for their autograph and here you're getting it for the price of a stamp and a couple of envelopes so appreciate what they're doing for you it always be kind always be considerate in your letter thank them um, but again it doesn't have to be very long if you want them to sign in a specific color Put the marker in the in the um, in the envelope. Send it to them. Send it with them, so that you know you're gonna get the color you want. Or you know, somebody who's older that they might just have a, a ballpoint pen and not think to you you know you want it in a sharpie or some other kind of marker. Include it so that you, they sign with what you want. And be specific. Use post-it notes. Tell them where you'd like them to sign. You know, please and thank you. Um, but it makes it easier for them. They probably some of these guys are getting tons of these. They can look at the sticker, sign right where you want it, and put it back uh, and send it right back to you. Make it easy for them. Don't expect to get your shoppy back. I've never received a shoppy back. Uh, maybe they have tons of them. I don't know, but I'd rather if I, especially if I want something, if I know the background is a certain color and I know this has to be silver, or I'm siding in a black and white and I want it to be blue. I, I just feel better knowing that they have the, the color I want. No guarantee though, use it. They might not, and you still might not get it back, or they might not use your marker. Odds are they will. Um, you might ask for it to be personalized, and they might not personalize it. You might put a, a post-it note where you want them to sign exactly, and they post somewhere totally different. That's, that's what happens, you know, it's, you're still getting a free autograph, you know, so you have to kind of be flexible in that regard. Um, as I said, I've been running out of top loaders, so um, save your resources. I get, I order a lot of photos through, uh, you know, Walgreens. Uh, I get things in the mail. Save all this stuff, okay? Um, I could put the photos in here, close it up, put it in the envelope, and use this with just a piece of cardboard in it. Um, it just helps, and of course your um, your official PIX boxes always, always, always save these. Uh, you never know; you might need to send something to a friend to get it signed if you were to show. Um, things like that. Keep these boxes; they're great to reuse, and you could. I know people have been using the same box for years and years through official PIX, so that's that's a, a great thing to have. So I'm just going to show you. Um, I have a through the mail piece that. I'm sending out on Friday, and we'll just kind of show you, I'll use this one to kind of demonstrate. This is going to Rose uh, Byrne, who was Dorme in Attack of the Clones. So, 
it's already addressed to her. I have my return, you know, address on it. It's coming back to me. Already filled out. Inside, there's a reason why I do this. Inside, I have the photos I'm going to use. The letter I put in an envelope, um, and I'm gonna I uh, put in a black mark, a black shot because I'd like her to sign it. Um, the photos used don't two, maybe three. Don't go more than that. I actually did recently with one actor, and I felt really bad about it. I still feel bad about it. Um, you you want to keep it to two to two. Two is pretty uh, a good number. You don't want to go crazy. Um, you know, some of the reasons, again, you're being respectful. Uh, if you send too many, it could be seen as uh, greedy and not appreciate it. And what that can cause is the actor or the celebrity to say, this per people are taking advantage of me. I'm not going to do this for anybody. So that type of thing could have consequences for the rest of the collecting community if you, if you, you know, you set a bad example or you're rude to the celebrity. You don't want that to affect the rest of us. All right. So this is a plastic sleeve that you put in a three ring binder. Photos are in there and a piece of cardboard. The pen's in here. I put everything in the return address, the return envelope. Because when I get to the post office, sometimes I have a ton of things. And you know what it's like at the post office. You have people that working there that have are just overwhelmed that have a lot that they need to do I like to make it, things as easy as possible for them they're doing me a favor they're helping me out and you probably have a line behind your people that want to get moving so this is what I do to kind of streamline things so I, I go in I have them separated and I put them down on the on the bed, on the table at the post office I give them the return one going first they weigh it Put, they put stamps on it, all right, and then I, while he's, he's doing that, once he's put the stamps on it, I put it in the envelope going to them, close it, you got to tape it up, so either bring your own, they're not going to give you, you know, the post office, they have the, um, the tape for uh, it's a priority mail. They're not going to give you that because you're not set, probably not sending this priority. They usually the, the guy there will help me out and he'll give me tape. But you might want to bring some scotch tape of your own or some uh, tape of your own. Tape it up, then you give them this. So you only have a couple, st two steps. You know, he mails the one coming back to you first. Put it in, tape it up, and then he can weigh the second one, the big one, and you're all set. It just it streamlines things, makes you know, makes it quicker for them, makes it easier for you when you have a lot of things that you're sending out. Um, if you are sending things to another country, which I haven't done yet, but I do have, I'm looking up at my piles on top of this uh, shelf over here. Your return, uh, we'll talk, um, there's the issue of postage. Which right now I'm exploring Royal Mail for the UK has a click and click and print for postage, and you can print it on a, a sticker. I haven't done it yet, um, but I like that idea. Instead of putting money in for them to pay for the return postage, if I'm able to post it from the US, um, I, I'd like to do that. And I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I've started to to do it. I haven't gotten. Uh, I haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it's possible. Otherwise, you maybe have friends you can, or you can buy, you know, postage for the for other countries online. Look into it. But if you are um, sending to other countries, this is the size I typically use in the U.S. But you got to use this, the smaller size for uh, the other countries because. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna have, they're going to have to go to the post office to mail it back to you. Uh, this size, they, they are able to send it from, I believe, from their homes. From what I've been able to gather from um, the Royal Mail website. Alright, um, it's a lot of fun. 
saves you some money and you can really add some great collections to your uh, great pieces to your autograph collection. Um, as you can see on this one for Rose Byrne, it's going to uh, New York to um, a play she's doing, and a lot of actors with the app. The, you know, doing a play for a few months or whatever, they'll sign. I see a lot of great successes by finding out where the play is and sending it right to the theater. So I've already seen that online on Star Tiger that she's been sending, she's been doing some great through the mail from uh, this theater in New York, uh, Long Acre Theater. The play is called You Can't Take It With You. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some good successes. Um, if you have any questions, you know, send me a message on the Facebook page or through my website. My, uh, web my email is swautographcollection at gmail.com. And uh, if you have you watch this and say, Frank, you know, there's better ways to do this. You're, you're making it too hard on yourself. Or, uh, you know, you have ideas, let me know. Uh, make Leave a comment. Um, I, I I'm, I'm learning as I go, too. I just wanted to really just help people to get started. Um, cause I know that just because I've had uh, a lot of questions on the site the last few, uh, the last few months. So, there's my dogs here. I want some attention. Um, anyway, uh, I hope it helps. Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. And, uh, happy collecting and may the force be with you. Take care.